Hey folks, so today I've got something rather interesting. Uh, I've got not just one Easy Flash Omega, but two Easy Flash Omegas. Um, but the interesting thing is not my usual one. This is something that I picked up um, a while ago when they actually came out, but it's working perfectly fine, so we don't really care about it today. The interesting one is this one here. So when I pop this in a Game Boy Advance and boot it up, um, see what's going on. If you if you caught that label on the uh, front of the cart, you probably already know what's going on. But look at the time. It reset back to the default there. Uh, the issue is basically that this thing does not keep time. Uh, every time I boot it up, it resets back to January 1st, year 2000, at midnight. And... Um, no amount of setting the time seems to fix that. So let's see if we can't let's see if we can't actually fix this this cart here. My theory is that the battery on the cart itself is just dead. So let's see if we can't pop a new battery in there and see if we can get that RTC working properly. Pull the SD card out for new and. Let's see, so if we pop this on voltage mode, this battery measures exactly zero volts, so that is probably the issue. Let me warm up my soldering iron here. So a replacement battery, pretty easy. I believe these are CR12. 12 batteries, 1212, and a new battery should be measuring quite a bit more as far as the voltage goes. So yeah, this one's measuring 3.33, which that looks about right. So let's go ahead and replace this. Just gonna desolder one leg here. Desolder the other leg here. It's important to not desolder both legs or to solder both legs at the exact same time because molten solder is still conductive, so you will short it out. And, um, you know, you're just asking for a fun time there. Let's go ahead and tin this up. Approximately about where it needs to go. There's one leg, there's the other leg. Ta da! All done. Easy peasy. And again, as Easy Flash has demonstrated several times over, these batteries are only for the real-time clock. You don't actually need one to save. Um, for those that haven't actually read the product manual of this thing, it copies the SRAM to the micro SD card uh, pretty much immediately after you save. Um, you just got to give it like 10 or so seconds before you power it off. And then it'll write the contents of the SD card to, or the contents of the SRAM to the SD card. And you don't need an actual battery for saving. All right, so let's try it out now. See what we've got. So it should reset back to the default, as expected. Yep, zero, zero. Oop, that's not what I want. My shoulder buttons clearly need some work on this thing. Let's head to the current date and time and see if it saves that. It is October 18 and it is 8.25 which means that it is 20.25. 
I don't know why it has you set the day as well. It should be able to calculate that. Set. Good enough. And let's see if it saves it. So I switched the console off. I pulled it out. As long as it return, retains that setting, uh, we know it's because of the battery itself and not because it was powered by the console. And let's see. Ah, ah, look at that. How easy is that? Just a bad battery. Now, I have no idea why the battery on this uh, particular cart went bad so quickly. I think, unfortunately, this battery was just bad from the factory, um, but it's easy enough to replace. Uh, let me double check the size on this bad boy. So yeah, it looks like it's a CR12. Let's peel that off. Depending on where you get the battery, you might need to save this little... Um, Insulation pad. It's CR1220, it looks like. Not a CR1212. Uh, either way, I'll, I'll go ahead and throw a link in the description to where you can get more of these things. Um, probably without the pad, but hopefully with the pad. Uh, just keep an eye out that you might need to save them. The ones that I had in particular did come with their own pad uh, because these ones are from Easy Flash, I believe. It just provided some spare parts there. But yeah, easy enough fix. And now this thing is going to retain its clock settings. Let's see if we can't boot this up into a Pokemon game. I'm probably nowhere near the, uh... Yeah, Moss Deep. I don't have anything that knows fly. Okay, well, never mind. We'll just have to take my word for it, because when we boot up the cart, now it's showing the actual proper time. Uh, hopefully it's translating that to the game. But, yeah. There we go. Easy peasy. Ain't much to it. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a fantastic night.